Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to troubleshoot the error while configuring replication. So this is the common error which we get during the initial phase of configuration of replication. So here are my two servers. So I'm going to configure replication between these two servers. The first server will act as both publisher and distributor and the second instance will act as a subscriber. So first I am going to configure distribution. To configure distribution I am going to the server and right click on this replication and then select configure distribution. As soon as I click on configure distribution it throw me an error. You can see SQL server is unable to connect to the server. Even this error will be populated when you are trying to configure local publication also. I will show you new publication and you can see you will face this error. So why this error has occurred? If you read the error message it says SQL server is unable to connect to the server. This is our instance name. So it is unable to find and connect to this instance name. And also it says this SQL server replication requires the actual server name to make a connection to the server. Specify the actual server name. But this is my actual server name. This I have been using for all the configuration part and I am able to connect to the instance. But SQL server replication is unable to connect to this instance name. So first execute these two statements. So these two outputs should give the same server name. So when I see the server name for a uh, server property of server name is different and the actual server name is different. This is my actual server name. While doing the demo parts and all I have changed the server name to this one. So this is not yet updated in the sys.servers. So I need to drop this name and update the current name. So how do I do that? First check the server name from sys.servers once you execute this you will see the name which has been changed and you can see when this has been modified here so i have modified this last year but the new name which is this one is not yet updated here so i need to update it now first check the host name so you can check the host name from your command prompt write host name the host name is home now drop the existing name which is this one drop server sp underscore drop server you need to execute the stored procedure enter the name just copy this and paste here drop it and next add server sp underscore add server this is your new name or the current name execute this command completed successfully now you need to restart the sql server in order to reflect the updated changes okay so i'm going to restart my sql server service restart The service is restarted. Now let me go back and check the output. Now you can see the both the names are same. So you have updated the current name in the catalog. You can also execute this is dot service and you can check the name. It has been updated. Now you can go ahead and configure your replication. Let me refresh application and then configure distribution and it gives you a window where you can configure your distribution. I have already made a video on SQL Server replication like snapshot transaction replication and all. I will leave the link in the description you can watch it from there. So this is how we troubleshoot the error. Hope you have enjoyed it. There are also other ways where you can uh, troubleshoot this error. 
let me show you one uh, small tsql statement so this is a script where you can update the server name this is same as we have done here only thing is we are not manually mentioning the server names in the script okay so nowhere we are giving the current name and the actual name you can do either ways okay thanks for watching the video if you like the video please hit the like button do subscribe and share